Um, so um, I've been rereading Bleach. Uh, so I've been wanting to reread Bleach for a while now. But it was a, a combination of uh, Totally Out Mark starting his review on it. He's a, a YouTube uh, manga reviewer. And uh, this is his first time watching, I mean, excuse me, reading it. He had watched a bit of it, but didn't like it before. But now he's reading it and he's enjoying it a lot more. And um, also the return of the anime. And those two things together made me go, okay, I'm really going to, I'm going to, I'm finally going to start rereading it. And um, not only is it as good as I remembered, but uh, with my like evolved knowledge as a consumer and a media, um, excuse me, a consumer of media and a storyteller, I enjoyed even more than I did when I was um, younger. So um, at the end of his first review, um, Mark talks about how Bleach was initially um, rejected by Shonen Jump in 2001. But mm-hmm. uh, Dragon Ball Z's creators, um, creator, Akira Toriyama, um, like essentially uh, sang its praises and it, and got it ser- serialized because he thought it was good oh, and wow. that it should be serialized. So he uses this um, story to discuss how some fans want Bleach to be seen as um, the great anime that it is, and to do so, in doing so, they will insult people and their opinions rather than, you know, talk about how good it is like Toriyama did. And mm-hmm. uh, that that message really hit um, because uh, uh, it reminded me of my experience with Bleach, but from the complete opposite end. Because um, and I'm sure you've noticed, Bleach is a very overhated anime. It gets hated so much. And right. it's one of those things it gets hated because it was in the t- in it was in the you know the big three the top three most popular anime of all time and but um I could be wrong but it was almost always at number three and because mm-hmm. of that people saw it as lesser than despite the fact that it's in top three meaning that it's above hundreds <laughs> right <laughs> and it's only below Naruto and One Piece which I mean it's it's Naruto and One Piece so like that's you, understandable. You can't. Yeah, <laughs> but um, so similar to Mark, when I watched the anime, I actually didn't like it. Um, it wasn't until I read the manga that um, I changed my mind, and um, the series got me into anime and manga, and Bleach has been my favorite ever since. But mm-hmm. in the online space, you know, I always heard people talking trash about it, and because of that, I started when I was much younger. I started to feel self conscious about enjoying it, and that led me down a path of always starting my conversations of about about Bleach by essentially saying, "I know it's bad, but." But, and I would start yeah. every convo with a list of negatives that I don't even agree with today at all because I felt like I, I, I was a loser for just enjoying it. And mm-hmm. um, that led me to pushing away potential fans by just talking trash about it rather than telling them how great it is. On this very podcast, one of the first times we talked about Bleach, I fell back into that habit and almost convinced the mayor to stop watching it. Um, when I was editing it, I, I, I was so mad because I could tell I was convincing them to stop watching it. And um, he said as much um, when I put it up in the, ne- in the episode after that. And um, I've since grown more confident as a person and no longer care about what people think when it comes to, right. my, uh, when it comes to my interest. So I've, I've made a conscious effort to when I talk about Bleach, I talk about what I love about it because Bleach is amazing. And that's being reinforced with me re- rereading it for the first time in probably like seven years. And um, mm. uh, and Mark says something that um, he says that uh, we should focus on what we love about this series because building things up wins more minds, and tearing things down will only lead to more negativity. And he's right. Right. And I've experienced that firsthand. So to anybody out there who's going through a similar experience, just know that you're not obligated to justify why you like anything, even if it's hated by a lot of people. Just You, you can just enjoy what you want to enjoy. You don't need people to, uh, to um, validate that. And in fact, um, and if you just want a community of people that like it, there's always going to be a community out there of people that enjoy what you like rather than having a bunch of people who hate it. Go to the community that loves it. Um, to say I'm excited for the anime returning October 10th is an understatement. I'm hoping that um, I will have at least gotten to the beginning of the Thousand Year Blood War arc in the manga mm-hmm. by the time it, it starts um, airing. Um, that way, because, you know, it'll be airing weekly. So I'll be definitely right. be running through that. I'll probably... Within the first week of that first episode airing, I'll probably have finished the entirety of the manga. 